holding hands. When I was little, I liked my nursery school. Different things happened every day. One day, Miss Claire, my nursery teacher, took us all to the gym at the big school. Now we need to make sure we all hold hands at all times. We held hands. I held hands with Louise. Now we're going to cross some roads, said Miss Claire. We had to look and listen for the traffic. We held hands and waited for the green man. The traffic stopped and the green man came on. Hold hands and straight across the road and keep looking, said Miss Claire. What do we do? When we came to another road, there was no green man. Take extra care, said Miss Claire. We'll find a safe place where we can see all the roads. When there was no traffic, Miss Claire said it was safe to cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. The big school was big. The gym was big too. There was lots of room to play. Claire made an obstacle course. On the way back, we crossed all the roads again. I looked and listened and held hands. I did everything Claire told me. After school, my daddy came to collect me, to take me to the library. Daddy! <gasps> Miss Claire told daddy that I'd been very grown up and sensible at crossing the roads. Bye, Claire. Bye, Claire. I felt pleased. I felt like a big girl. Okay, take my hand. No. Why not? Because I'm a big girl. Hold my hand, said Daddy. No, I said. Tig. When the green man turned to green, Daddy picked me up and carried me across the road. We came to another road. Right, Tig, we need to cross the road. Take my hand, please. No. Hold my Why hand. I'm a big girl. You Daddy picked me Go up and carried me straight Let's across see. the road. Right. I was not happy. Roads, okay? In Come the on. library, I was cross. Do you want to choose a book, choose said a book. Daddy. No. No, I okay. said and Why sat with Wooly. I was very up. cross. Hey, Tig, it's not nice being treated like a little girl just when you think you are a big and sensible girl. It's not nice being told what to do when you think you know everything. But just because you know how to cross a road safely doesn't mean that Daddy should let you do it all by yourself. Boom, boom, honk, honk, beep, beep. <coughs> Roads are busy places. Holding Daddy's hand lets him know you're safe. Holding Daddy's hand lets you know he's safe too. Then you can both look. Beep, beep. And listen without any worries. You can cross the road safely together. So go for it, Tig. Be clever and say sorry to Daddy and hold his hand all the way home. Beep, beep. Yes, I thought. I'll be clever. Sorry, Daddy! Oh. And say sorry to Daddy. On, Daddy and me chose a library book. Yeah, yeah. Let me take these books. The library lady got a shock yeah. when she saw Willy. <gasps> it's only a tight spider. I held Daddy's hand all the way home. I like to be safe. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were Harvest Supper! When I was little, my friend Duncan had a farm. He had a combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had a farm too. Duncan's daddy had a big, big combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had fields that grew things that were harvested by the combine harvester. 
One day, we went to Duncan's farm for harvest supper. Daddy said harvest supper was a party. Say yippee for all the things that grew in the farm. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! The harvest supper day was the last day of the harvest and the last day for the combine harvester. Wooly came too. Mummy said that all the things for the supper were grown on the farm. Look, Tig, all the food here for the harvest supper has been grown on the farm. So Wheat for the bread. And apples for the apple juice. Apple for the juice. Right, Tig, why don't you go upstairs and play with Duncan and I'll give Rebecca a hand. Good girl. Yes. Duncan was playing on his little farm. I drove the tractor. I collected the hay bales. Deep break for the farmers. Then Duncan's mummy gave us juice and OT flapjacks. Those are OT flapjacks and guess what? The oats are grown here on the farm. Mummy said the OT flapjacks were grown on the farm too. The OT flapjacks were so good. I wanted to see them harvested. Outside, Duncan's daddy drove off on his big, big combine harvester. Come on, said Mummy. Harvest time. I wanted to see the Oti flapjacks. I was so excited. Daddy wanted to make a scarecrow. We watched as Duncan's daddy drove the big, big combine harvester. But I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. We watched as the combine emptied grain, but I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. We watched as straw came out of the back, but I couldn't see any Oti flapjacks. OK, time to make a scarecrow, said Daddy. Where are the Oti flapjacks? Where are the Oti flapjacks? In the kitchen, said Mummy. They grow in the fields. No, just the oats for the oaty flapjacks grow in the fields. No oaty flapjacks. Hey Tig, it's not nice when you expect to see something and then you don't. No oaty flapjacks. Especially if they're oaty flapjacks. But sometimes when we don't quite understand, things can get mixed up. But Mummy said, Wooly. Mummy said that oats grew in the field, not that oaty flapjacks grew in the field. Oaty flapjacks don't grow, oaty flapjacks are made. Oaty flapjacks are made from the oats that grow. What we can see is the oats that grow being harvested. That's the fun. The oat grains poured into the trailer and then we have the leftover straw dropped out of the combine harvester to make the scarecrow. <laughs> so go for it, Tig. Have some harvest fun. Make a scarecrow. Yes, I thought. I'm going to have some harvest fun now. I'm going to help make the scarecrow. We all collected the leftover straw from the combine harvester. We had fun stuffing old clothes. We tied the stuffed clothes to a pole. We filled an old pillowcase with straw too. Yeah. There we go. Right, let's have a wee look. Duncan's mummy drew eye. I drew a mouse. That's excellent, that's brilliant. We carried the scarecrow back to the farm. We were having the harvest supper in a shed. Daddy popped the scarecrow inside. My hat. Lots of people came to the harvest supper. The giggly lady brought some eggs. Everyone brought something. Vegetables, honey, sunflowers, pictures. My friend Louise brought a picture of a sandcastle. Mummy pinned it up next to my picture of the sea. Duncan's mummy 
gave us all a corn dolly made of straw. I had one and Louise had one. Duncan's daddy finished harvesting. Everything had been harvested. Now we could have our harvest supper. I told Louise that the harvest supper was all grown on the farm. Everything that we're eating is grown on the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can I propose a toast to the farmer Duncan and to the harvest? The, the harvest. harvest! After supper, it was time to take our scarecrow to the fields. When I looked for my corn dolly, Louise had taken it. Louise, this is my corn dolly. That is yours. Yours, mine. The one nearest to my bread, that's Louise. Lu Louise, that's my corn dolly. No, it isn't, it's mine. Louise had taken my corn dolly. No, but isn't that your one? No, that's Louise's. But they're exactly the same. No, no, no. It's just a little thing. Don't worry about it. Hey, Tig, when you know you're right, it's not fair that someone else thinks you're wrong. Louise has my corn dolly. But Louise is quite sure she's right too. Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, who can say? Just everyone looks in different ways. Wee! One way you'll see the darkness, one way you'll see the light. Depends which way you're looking, if it's sunrise or the night. One way you'll see the waves break, one way you'll see the sand. Depends which way you're looking, if you're by the sea or land. Hey, stop spoiling all the fun and messing up the day. What matters most is getting on and joining in the play. another but I didn't want to mess up the day I wanted to join in the fun daddy put up the new scarecrow in a field the scarecrow might frighten crows but the scarecrow seemed scared of woolly it's only a toy spider then we all and harvest supper. I like my corn dolly and I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were me. The play. When I was little, I liked going to see plays. It was exciting. People dressed up and did funny things. I wanted to be in a play too. Once I was going to be in a play at nursery. I was going to dress up as a king. But then I had chicken pox, so I couldn't be in the play. Once there was a lady called Cinderella. One day, Mummy said they were choosing children to be in a play. The children's theatre are auditioning for children to play the toy soldiers. Do I get to dress up? Yeah but they have to choose the children first. Yippee! Yippee! I said, I'd 
like to be a toy soldier and dress up in a play. On the day of the choosing, I was very excited. We went to the children's theatre. There were lots of other children. There you are, let's go in there. Right, uh, Mr Tonka. Mr Tonka's there over on the piano. Mr Tonka was on the piano. We had to march like toy soldiers. It was fun. I loved the marching. When can I dress up? I said to Mummy. We have to wait for the chosen tag. When we were waiting, the man talked to Mummy. And then we went away. Mummy and me went to a little cafe. Where can I be a toy soldier, Mummy? Mummy, where will I be a toy soldier? I'm sorry, Tig. But they didn't choose you to be a toy soldier. I'm sorry, Tig. But they didn't choose you. The thing is, they need the toy soldiers to be a little bit taller. The toy soldiers need to be a bit taller than you. You wait there, I'll get us a good treat. I was sad. I wanted to be in a play. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when other people are chosen, and not you. That's not fair, Willie. Yes, it doesn't seem fair. You wanted to be in a play. You wanted to be a toy soldier, but not everyone can be chosen all at the same time. Sometimes you just have to wait and try again and have another go. You might not be a toy soldier this time, but hey, there are plenty more plays and dressing up. When one door closes, bang, another door will open. Yippee! So go for it, Tig. Don't be sad. You just never know what's around the corner. Yes, I thought. I was sad I couldn't be a toy soldier, but you never know what's around the corner. Just then, someone came round the corner. Hi, Tam. How are you? Oh, all the better for seeing you too. Hello, Tig. Hi. It was a man Hello. called Tam. Oh, a bit of a disaster. Oh, dear. Opening tomorrow, Elves and the Shoemaker at the Children's Theatre. Tam was doing a children's play, The Elves and the Shoemaker. One of the elves has chicken pox. But one of the elves had chicken pox. I wondered, would you like to be an elf? Do I need to dress up? Oh, yes, as an elf. OK. I was in a play. A bit of a rush, though. Rehearsals this afternoon. I was so excited. In the afternoon, Tam showed me what to do on the stage. This is Louise now. She's the other um, elf. I know you know her, Louise. Of course you do, right now, so what? She's one of the elves and you're the other elf. My friend Louise was another elf. And Tam was the shoemaker. The two elves run onto the stage. When the shoemaker grows old, said Tam, the elves make his shoes. Tam showed us how to make the shoes. Ready, ready. And snip, snip, snip. Cutting the leather. Stitch, stitch, stitch. Sewing together. Tip, tip, tap. He was so clever to make a fine pair of shoes. We practised a lot. Tam gave me music for the play. I practised the play at home. Stitch, stitch, stitch. Tip, tip, tap. So clever. Like a pair of shoes. The next day was the day of the play. Louise and me did our dressing up. We had ears on our hats. We looked different. We looked like elves. It was nearly time for the play. Mummy took me to the stage. Mummy didn't quite know the way. When we got to the stage, it was the wrong stage. There was a funny man doing another play. Here we are, Ted. This is the wrong stage. No, Ted, look, that's Tam. That's not Tam. That is Tam. I was going to be late. I had to find Tam. Then I found Daddy. Suddenly, the funny man started to sing. Hey, there once was a maker, a maker of shoes. A shoemaker making his shoes. His play was like ours. I liked it. 
knew all the words. Then Daddy said I should be on the stage. What are you doing here? That's not Tom. Yes, it is. You're supposed to be up there on the stage. But where was Tom? Hey, Tig, people in plays can look different because they dress up. People in plays look different because they put makeup on. People in plays look different because sometimes they wear different hair. I look different, you look different, and Tam looks different. You look different because you are dressed up as a cheeky wee elf. Tam looks different because he's the shoemaker with his glasses, moustache and hair. Well, the clever shoemaker, the older he grew, the slower he's making his shoes. That's Tam on stage. Time for the elves to make the shoemaker his shoes. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. That is Tam. I should be on stage with him. We waited for the shoemaker to peep. Then we could be elves. Dozy shoemaker, he woke from his snooze and looked at the work on his shoes. The leather was tapped and stitched and sewed, shaping fine shoes from heels to toes. A pair of shoes, the best to choose. But who had been making his shoes? Stitch, 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 sewing together. Tick, tick, tap, shaping the leather. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Who is so clever to make fine pairs of shoes? But who did the sewing and stitched? He worked and he slipped, but at night did not sleep. Keeping awake, he took a peep. Me and Louise were making the shoemaker his shoes. We were the elves. Stitch, 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 sewing together. Tip, tip, tap, shaping the leather. Zip, zip, zip. They were so clever, the elves were making shoes. Was a maker, a maker of shoes, a shoemaker making his shoes. He worked with the elves and he snipped and they sold, shaping new shoes from heels to toes, making fine shoes and hairs to choose. A shoemaker, elves and their shoes. Snip, 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 cutting the leather, stitch, 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 sewing together. Tip, tip, tap. They were so clever to make fine pairs of shoes. Play, everyone clapped. When everyone saw Willy, they all went, ah! It's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like the elves and the shoemaker. I like being in a play. 